Hello everyone, you want to play with me? Hey, what about science class? Science class, let's combine science and learning with our brand new channel and that's Science Made Easy. So here I am today for us to learn to take your very first lesson. Excited, right? Okay, the topic is Newton's Laws of Motion. So Sir Isaac Newton was indeed a very great scientist and he predicted some laws regarding motion and we are going to focus on that. So let's get started with it. So let's go to the first law of motion. If you know that, do repeat with me. And if not, it's fine. Just hear it and try and understand it. So the Newton's first law of motion says that every inanimate object continues to be in the state of rest or of your informed motion unless an external unbalanced force acts on it. Okay, this law seems to be a little confusing. Let's get clearer. Let's get into that. So let's break into some parts so that we can get the exact idea of what this law is. So the first some word says that every inanimate object. What's that? Simple man. Non living things. Okay, I got that. So every inanimate object continues to be in the state of rest. Okay, let's take an example of this pretty good ball. I place it over here. As you can see, I'm not touching it. I'm not doing anything. And the ball is at rest, right? So what you can say that if an object is at rest and if no external force is acting on it, it's gonna remain at rest. Hey, come back here. So you got about that point. Let's get into the other part. And what's that? Do you know about that? Uniform motion? Exactly uniform motion. But what is uniform motion? Oh, the motion uh, which is done by wearing a uniform. Oh. That sounds really fancy. Just like a fairy tale. I feel like there's a lot more con confusion regarding uniform motion. So let's get clear with that idea. Uniform motion is not a motion wearing a uniform. Rather, <laughs> it's a motion where our speed remains the same. In simple sense, I want to say that in same time, we're covering same distance. Uh, let me give you a pretty good example. Like in 10 seconds, I'm going to cover 10 meter. In the next 10 seconds, again, I'm going to cover 10 meter. And in the next 10 seconds, again, I'm going to do so. So the motion which is being performed by me is uniform motion. Got with that idea? Yeah. Exactly. Very great. That's what I was expecting. So let's see what Newton said. Suppose I'm taking this ball and placing it over here. I'm letting it to bring into it motion. See, when this ball was here and when it came here, it was moving with same speed as you can see. But as soon as it touched my leg, it stopped because that was an external force acting on that ball. I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say. So let's get into with that statement once again. The statement says that every inanimate object continues to be in a state of rest or of uniform motion unless an external unbalanced force acts on it. I hope you got it, but, but, but. There is something. What's unbalanced force? Without any balance. No balance. Oh, no, no, no. You're not clear with that idea. So let's get clear with that as well. Unbalanced force is not a force without a balance. But it's a force when displacement occurs. Uh, a little confusing, right? Let's make it pretty much clear. I'll give you an example which you are intended to imagine. And you're going to experience that example. So let's get into that thing that you're tied to with a rope. Whoa. And two of your friends are trying to push you from this side and then from this side. Now let me tell you that the friend which is on your left side is going to pull you by 10 Newton force. Okay? Hey, but what's Newton? I am sure you Hey, know. I know that. Newton is a great scientist, isn't it? Okay, you are right but still wrong. Uh, that's, that doesn't sound good. Let me tell you, Newton is a scientist but 10 Newton is not scientist. But unit of force. It's a SI unit of force. Well, you remember that? Yeah. Great, great, great. I expect that. So, a friend is pushing from 10 Newton of force. And on the other side, another friend is pushing from the same 10 Newton of force. Now, what's going to happen? Are you going to be on the left side or right side? Can you answer? No. Let me tell you, my friend. You're not going to be either on left side or even on right side. Rather, you're going to be stable. Because on both of your sides, equal amount of force is acting, right? So you're going to be at the same place and this is called a balance force. But if the force is going to be greater on the one side, so you're going to get pushed over there. So that's what I'm going to try and say you that if uniform ball or the uniform motion is going on with this ball and if I don't apply a 
unbalanced force, so it's going to stay in the uniform motion, right? So I hope you're clear with the unbalanced force. Let's get last time with the statement and I'm sure that now you're clear with force law of motion. So let's get into that. Every inanimate object continues to be in the state of rest or of okay. uniform motion unless an an external, external unbalanced force acts on it. Thank you. Keep watching the next videos.